If you ever played in a band, you have probably learned a lesson about human nature. Everyone seems to always want to increase the level of his instrument. And inexperienced music composers and producers also fall into this trap. Because not everything can be loud at the same time. Let me give you an analogy. Let's say you fill a piece of paper with text. Now, what should be the focus for the reader? That's your first creative decision you will have to make. The next is, in what way should you direct focus? One of the most common ways is, of course, by using headlines. Of course, not every sentence can be a headline, because that's ridiculous and wouldn't do any practical good at all. Another way to direct attention is to mark some selected words or group of words in bold. Again, selecting the entire text and making it bold would defeat the very purpose of directing focus. So those are extreme examples to illustrate what you do as a mixing engineer. The key point to remember is the more instruments and sounds you try to focus on at any single point in time, the less power they will each have. For example, going back to the piece of paper with text. If you only have one single big headline at the top of the page and the rest of the text being simple paragraphs, that headline will have super powerful focus. The more headlines or the more words you mark in bold, the less impact they will each have. As a mixing engineer, you have the power and responsibility to set the levels of each individual track in a way that guides the listener of the full music production. What are the headlines of your track and what should be marked in bold? This tip for music producers like yourself is taken from my online course on music production essentials. Get your special discount in the video description. Do you want to learn how to record, edit, mix and master your tracks into a professional music production? Then take action and enroll in my course on music production essentials.